Hi. Hey. Thought you'd be at work by now. I've been waiting for you. Okay. Why? Well, you know, I've got some soppy stuff to say in that. <laughs> well, this should be entertaining. You do know that you're not speaking, right? I wasn't going to actually say it. I just wanted you to know that I was thinking it. Listen, we're OK, aren't we? Mm-hmm. I'd feel even better if we knew who thought it was OK to shove a stick into our marriage and give it a good poke around. I've been thinking about that. I've got a pretty good idea who it is. And I'm going to have a word. Feel free to go further. Oh, I will. That stick's going to be so far up his backside, the only thing it's going to be poking is his tonsils. So that's off enough for you. Perfect. Morning. Hi. What are you doing? Right now, I am torn between murdering you and beating you to a pulp. You gave more of them pictures, didn't you? No, I know you're beating people up, but at least do it for the right reason, well, I eh? I think of a better one. Well, except it wasn't me. Yeah, of course not. Well, I had them. They got nicked off me, didn't they? So you had backups. Did I? Why well, was I trying so hard to stop Harriet from wrecking that memory card? It was Ross that mugged me, by the way, in case you're interested. Right, so who nicked them off in then? Well, I don't know, maybe no one. Well, why would he give them to Moira? She's his auntie. Why are you asking me and not him? <laughs> what was that for? Pick a reason. Suspiciously well timed. You want some lunch? Uh, yeah, go on. So, you been shoving any sticks anywhere? Wasn't him. Who? Robert. Oh. His thing to make trouble for others when he's up to his own neck, innit? Are you sure? I didn't hook him up to a lie detector. Can we remember what this is about, please? Made a pretty good case for it being Ross, though. What case? Ross nicked the photos. Well, there weren't any more, so who else could it be? The only trouble is, Ross is only a sly girl when it suits him. So I can't see why I'd want to do this. Well, maybe I can. How come? Well, we had a bit of a row. About what? His affair with Debbie. When are we going to start telling each other what's going on? We should. I saw this coming months ago. And you're just telling me now. Like Debbie's marrying Pete. The Ross thing's over. So why are the photos? Because he's not over her? It doesn't make sense. I know. And neither does this. But I, I, I also didn't tell you, but... I'm sorry. The visiting orders that Charity's been sending. I know that Ross took one and used it. Well, why would he go and see her? I mean, it's not like the mates. There was that chop shop business. That finished ages ago. <sighs> Same goes for that fling they had. It might have started up again. A bit difficult where she is. Well, it would have to be before, obviously, but... Well, you're right, it, it doesn't make sense. Yes, it does. He's not. Only one way to find out. Dad, hiya. That's a lot of bags. Yeah, the uh, charity shop's going to be well chuffed. Yeah. You like to do a bit of charity, don't you? Hey, you. I was just coming to get the other two. All right. And take them all where? Uh, at home. I think you were going on a little trip, Dabs, weren't you? <sighs> Drop the act. Fine. How can you be this stupid? It's what we both want. What, and you're happy breaking your family's hearts? Not to mention Pete's. And mine. We're not going forever. You're not going at all. Yes, we are. Yeah.